Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss the following question. And the question says, Paul sold some hundred dollar shares at 15% discount and invested in fifty dollar shares at twenty five dollars, carrying a dividend of ten percent. Had he sold his shares at twenty percent premium instead of fifteen percent discount, he would have earned four hundred ninety dollars more. Find the number of shares sold by him. Let's start the solution now. Suppose Paul sells X shares. We are given that the price of each share is hundred dollars, and Paul sells each share at fifteen percent discount. So selling price. of one share at 15% discount is equal to the price of each share that is $100 minus 15 upon 100 into $100 zeros get cancelled so this is equal to Hundred dollars minus fifteen dollars, which is equal to eighty-five dollars. So therefore, selling price of X shares at fifteen percent discount is equal to. 85 into x dollars, which is equal to 85 x dollars. Now we will calculate the selling price of one share if he sold it at 20% premium instead of 15% discount. So the selling price. Of one share at 20% premium is equal to the price of one share, that is $100 plus 20 upon 100 into $100. Zeros get cancelled, and this is equal to. Hundred dollars plus twenty dollars, which is equal to one twenty dollars. So therefore, selling price of X shares at twenty percent premium is equal to. 120 into x dollars, which is equal to 120 x dollars. It is given that he invested in 50 dollars shares at 25 dollars, carrying a dividend of 10 percent. That is, the nominal value of the shares is 50 dollars, and the market value is 25 dollars. So therefore. Number of shares whose nominal value is fifty dollars that can be purchased with. 85x dollars, which is the selling price of X shares at 15% discount, is equal to 85x dollars upon the market value of each share, which is given to be 
25 dollars so we write 25 dollars this is equal to 85x upon 25 now the dividend is 10% so the income received or dividend received on these shares is equal to 10% of the nominal value into the total number of shares that is 10 upon 100 into the nominal value which is 50 into the number of shares which is 85x upon 25 dollars zeros get cancelled and 5 5 times is 25 also 5 17 times is 85 so this is equal to 17x dollars similarly number of shares whose nominal value is 50 dollars that can be purchased with 120x dollars which is the selling price of x shares at 20% premium is equal to 120x dollars upon the market value of each share which is 25 dollars this is equal to 120x upon 25 therefore dividend received on these shares is equal to 10% of the nominal value that is 10 upon 100 into 50 into total number of shares which is 120x upon 25 dollars zeros get cancelled and 5 5 times is 25 also 5 24 times is 120 So this is equal to 24x dollars. We are given that had he sold his shares at 20% premium instead of 15% premium, he would have earned 490 dollars more. That is, it is given that 24x dollars, which is the income received. if he sold the shares at 20% premium minus 17x dollars which is the income received if he sold the shares at 15% discount is equal to 490 dollars this implies 7x dollars is equal to 490 dollars This implies x is equal to 490 upon 7, and 7 70 times is 490. This implies x is equal to 70. So the final answer is the number of shares. So it by Paul. is equal to 70 with this we end our session hope you enjoyed the session